Oh. He didn't realize our mics were on. Yet. <laughs> Welcome to our panel. We still have two more minutes. Let the right. people come in. Oh. How dare you not have this light on? Oh, <laughs> I mean, yes. This mic and I'm doing Sam's on. job. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, I say yes. yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> How you guys feeling? Um, <laughs> I, I relate to that spot. Yeah, yeah, whoever yeah. went, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Monday of PAX. <laughs> it's been fun but full. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Man, these, these are hot. Well, I'm just really <laughs> excited about all the games. So, Sam, why don't you just take it away? We can start now. Yeah, let's do can it. We? Why not? Are we allowed to do that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Timer has started. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. Here we right. go. All right. Welcome, one and all, to the Game Raven Review panel here at PAX West 2024. Thank you for being here. Thank you. For today, I will be your host. My name is Sam, and I'm joined by some very talented individuals as we discuss the world of indie games here at Game Raven. And if you just walked in and not knowing what we're talking about, we're talking about the most ridiculous indies that we could find, 2024 edition. Now, before we get into any of that, you might also ask, what is a Game Raven? Thank you, person who asked that question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Game Raven is, <laughs> again, I'm gonna talk about reading here for a second. <clears throat> <laughs> we are your go-to media source for overlooked and underrepresented indie games. Our mission is to introduce gamers like you to hidden gems in the indie game world. We feature podcasts, which I am the host of, written reviews, which I also sometimes do, and other things as well, memes, I'm sure, galore on our websites. If you want to know more about us, please go to GameRavenReview.com. You'll see everything there that we do. There also is a QR code here that if you want to scan, also takes, a, takes you to that website. And before we get into those games, I would like to introduce who I do have with me today. Starting off here with Sarah. Oh. Sarah, who is our executive director. Hi. Say hello, Sarah. Hello. I, I thought you were going to start at the other end, but cool. <laughs> I'm going by the list. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Next, we have Emily, a.k.a. Puppet, who is our owner and editor-in-chief. Hello, Puppet. Hello. How are you? I'm here. <laughs> Glad you're here. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> and next we have Michaela, our impatient playroom coordinator. Oh, wait, I'm off. I am brain farting on reading. I apologize. <laughs> Child Life Department at Seattle Children's Hospital. Hello, yeah. Michaela. Woo! Hello, hi. Next we have Kelsey, who is our lead editor. Kelsey, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, we have Jenny. Jenny, who is one of our journalists. Everyone I'm, I'm great. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm also Sorry. great. Thanks for asking. Jenny, how are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm great. It's <laughs> been full but fun. Again, thank you all for being here. Let's give them a little round of applause. <laughs> all right, now getting to the meat and potatoes of why we're here. We're going to be talking about the most ridiculous indies 2024. So it doesn't mean that these are brand new games. Some of them might be, some of them might be a little bit older, but these are games that we just found just to be, again, ridiculous. And we're going to go down the list here, starting off with Sarah. Sarah, what is your first game? So my first game is Don't Fraud My Heart.
It's like MST3K with a <laughs> full force face. I thought the mics were muted while the music <laughs> was good, and that I, I was surprised by that live reaction. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So don't fraud my heart. Um, this is an upcoming game by Dogwood Gaming, and it is played, part of the reason why it's so ridiculous is that it is played on Microsoft PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah. uh, the whole game is in PowerPoint. It is amazing. Um, they did a panel on how they created it, and that was really cool. I didn't get to see it, but I heard all about it. Um, it is a game where you are trying not to commit tax fraud. <laughs> Maybe you are trying to commit tax fraud, you, you know? Um, and it, what's really extra cool is that we have an exclusive demo that they have only shared with us. Um, and that's what that big QR code is on the screen. So if you want to take a second and check out Sepia Chan and or Chan. Chan, Sepia Chan. Mm. I sound so white right now. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's all based on like office supplies and you're working with taxes. And isn't that so fun? Yeah. <laughs> so fun. That's exactly what I want in my video game. I want to do my taxes <laughs> <laughs> and other people's taxes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do it on your work computer. Yes, that is you can do it on Microsoft that, PowerPoint. Yes, sure. Like they're not going to block that on your computer. So if you so need true. a game to play during work, and you could just pull up the little calculator screen and be like, "I'm working." Yeah, they won't know the difference. Calculator. <laughs> just ignore the anime girl that's right next. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. Like that's just that's just there. That's a that's, virus. That's I don't know how she. Yeah, got yeah. It. that's, that's just AI new clippy. Just looks like an anime girl. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, they Staple should do that. that. You know, yeah, like all oh, like in a little the, paper, the early 2000s <laughs> clippy, clippy. Yeah, I'm, I'm old. I, <laughs> yeah, it's just your emotional support anime girl. Yeah, everybody's allowed to have one. Mm -hmm. All right, puppet, what is your first game? Squirrel with a gun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice, nice. Sounds like people have heard it. But what's it about? <laughs> actually heard of this game already. Oh, what? Wow. wow. And I, I thought I was sharing something new. Okay, well, this game is now it's out, perfect. everyone. <laughs> um, it came out on Thursday, I believe, and I woke up and I downloaded it, and the first thing I did was start this game. And let me tell you, the music is incredible. Mm -hmm. And what makes it even better is that, so this game was made by a team of three people, which is amazing to me. Um, and one of them is a uh, musician, and so he composed the music for this game. And um, I, I, post, I posted uh, just the intro on uh, my Instagram story or whatever, and everyone is like, is that, 
is that song part of the game or is that just what you're playing in the background? And I'm like, I do not have a song about a squirrel with a gun <laughs> that is just playing it's in the background. Fair, no. like, until you listen to it, you don't realize it's that. It just sounds like a really classical beat. I thought you were having a really down day and like listening to some like sad classical music and we're like, I'm going to play squirrel with a gun to feel better. But no, it is actually a masterpiece. Yes, hmm. it's, uh, yeah. And then the boss music, also amazing. Yes. So, um, yeah, Squirrel with a Gun, everybody. Go go check it out. It is now available. And it's like, I think it's $17.99, and it's worth every single penny. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yes. All, right. All right, Michaela, what's your first game? Roombo First Blood. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was such a short intro, I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so good. Um, that was by uh, Samurai Punk um, in 2019. You can play it on Steam, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, best $5 I've ever spent. Um, we played this for hours at home and um, you are a Roomba that takes care of burglars coming into your home and then you have like a very short amount of time at the end to clean up the whole house. And <laughs> it is so stressful, but then the happiest, I wish they put this in. It, I Please go buy it and laugh at this because the music that plays at the end is like, do, 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 do. it's just like this happy music and you're like frantically trying to suck, <laughs> suck up bodies and blood. <laughs> Like, um, like 30 seconds, but you make a huge mess and you get to interact with like the house as people are coming in and it's just like there was a lot of screaming <laughs> going on. It's so good. All right, next, Kelsey. Yeah, uh, World Box God Simulator. Ah, what a sweet little orc village. Let's make some trees nearby. A few rivers with a happy little bush over here. Perfect. And some cats. Everybody loves cats. What are you doing? My innocent cats? No! You will answer for it, dumb orcs. Um, well, let's start again. Create worlds full of life. I'm so good at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was World Box God Simulator. Um, the developer, Maxim Karpenko, uh, Grave, Grave Games. Uh, it's a super fun game. As you can see, it can be as chaotic as you want it to be or as peaceful as you want it to be. There are many ways to destroy your civilizations while also making them as happy as they can be. Uh, my personal favorite is the giant crab with lasers you get to control um, to take everyone out or dropping in a zombie to see how fast it can infect the entire population. That's so fun. That's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Faye, what's your first game? Um, one Hour, One Life. Oh, maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Jason Rohr. Well, at least this is what I look like inside my new game, One Hour, One Life. Yep, this is it. We're live inside the game right now. Actually, this is my modern home office. Civilization and the rest of the game hasn't gotten quite this advanced yet. Maybe someday, though. Did you see that? I just got older again. A whole year passes every minute, and we live an entire lifetime, from birth to old age, in just one hour. We'd better get on with this tour before my time runs out. Oh my god. Everything you see here exists on a persistent server. It starts out full of untouched wilderness, and it's up to us, the players, to rebuild civilization from scratch together. I think she's coming. That's Eve, the first player to join the server. And the second player should be joining right about now. <laughs> yep, that's player two, Eve's first baby. When you join the server as a baby, you're truly helpless. <laughs> you depend on care from your parents in order to survive. If they help you live into adulthood, you may get a chance to have babies of your own someday. And your babies will be other players who are depending on you for their survival. You're just one small link in a very long chain. What you accomplish during your brief lifetime will depend on the situation that you're born into. At first, your contribution might be pretty basic. But future generations can build on the foundation that you helped to create. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll get a chance to leave your own small mark on the world before you die. And maybe create something that helps your children and grandchildren. But really, all of this is just the beginning. As players continue climbing up through the tech tree, I'll be staying one step ahead of them by adding new stuff to the game every week. So I hope you'll join me as this crazy game unfolds. I may even spawn as your baby at some point, and it'll be up to you to take care of me. As we rebuild civilization together, who knows where we'll end up? Who? <laughs> Get re get reborn. <laughs> <laughs>
there it's a full server and a full game and it's it's really really fun <laughs> nice. all right going back to sarah hi all right just crow things <laughs> Who saw Just Crow Things on the show floor? Ooh. I picked this game before I even knew that they were coming to PAX, so it was really <laughs> cool, like, reaching out to them and saying, hey, you're on our panel, and they were like, hey, we'll see you there. Um, very cool. And it just came out on August 15th, 2024. It is developed by Big Brain Studios, and... I feel like their description doesn't do the game justice. I mean, you could see it's a crazy little game, kind of like Untitled Goose Game, or I mean, I guess even kind of Scroll with a Gun, where you're just mm -hmm. an animal running around and causing chaos. You're pooping on people. Um, <laughs> they have a special poop mode. Don't know what that means. Um, haven't unlocked it yet. But um, you are not just being a crow to cause problems because we're Corvids. We don't cause problems. We know this is Game Raven Review. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't, we don't claim the problematic part. Um, but you are trying to join the cool crow club <laughs> after they stole your sunglasses that are an heirloom from your grandma. Uh so you have to, you have to keep like, causing chaos so that way they think that you're cool enough to join their club <laughs> but like you don't even like really want to join the club you just want to join it to get your sunglasses back that's fair I'm, i mean yeah <laughs> An heirloom heirloom <laughs> they all have like matching necklaces too <laughs> but yeah your your grandma's heirloom was a pair of sunglasses cool they're probably so really nice cool of sunglasses. Her <laughs> no they're just regular sunglasses oh. <laughs> He's just a crow, and your name's Crowy. Oh, I think it's very cute. Yeah, so go go check it out. All right, puppet. My next game is Pizza Possum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what is up with us and like animals causing trouble. But well, we, should, we should rename this panel like "Come Watch Animals Causing Trouble." <laughs> um, so if you're looking for yet another game with an animal protagonist that causes trouble, Pizza Possum is where it's at. I found this game because um, my husband and I we were looking for um, a couch co-op to play, and I'm always looking for couch co-op indie games, and we stumbled across this one on the Switch. And let me tell you, it was very worth it. Um, it is wild. You play as a little possum and your, um, your partner in crime is a raccoon, obviously, because they're the best partners in crime. Um, and you basically just like eat everybody's food <laughs> all the way through this town and you get to the very top of the town and there's a bunch of dogs that live up there. You saw there were like a 
the cops of the game, and you have to go and eat the big pizza that is the king dog's like pizza, and it's so fun. Um, something I really liked about this game was um, the way that they do their split screen is really interesting. Um, and I haven't seen this very often in games. Um, when you are together, it is like one screen. And then as you like run away from the other person, it turns into a split screen. And the split screen will change depending on like where you're at in relation to the other player. Um, and at first it was disorienting a little bit, but then it was very helpful because when things are happening, you run in every direction, and there are many times when we were like, oh my god, where are you? Where are you? Help me. <laughs> ah. Actually, I can't do the same kind of yell that they do in the game, but it's, it's pretty great. Yes, I was yelling a lot during this game. <laughs> Highly recommend, especially if you're looking for like a good couch co-op to play. Um, it is pretty short. It's a short and sweet game. I think we went through it in a few hours. Um, but it was very, very worth it and very playable, you know, once again. Like, I'm, we're going to go back and try to do better next time. <laughs> it also is out right now. It says coming soon, but I want you guys to know that it is out. Oh, and you yes, should it get is it out. on your Oops. devices. <laughs> Oopsie, that wasn't my fault at all. <laughs> um, I wasn't allowed to choose any animal games because everyone else did. <laughs> Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator. My favorite fact about this game. <laughs> oh man, I love this thing. It's so watching that is exactly how it, it is like playing it. It is so stressful. You have no idea what's going on. It's like, bye, 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 sell, sell, sell. It's like you really get into the innards of like capitalism, like alien capitalism. <laughs> and yeah, it is awful. It's amazing. Um, so you're really in this like dystopian alien world um, and the stock market opens up and you're like, oh, I gotta get this liver at a good price and then you're just click, 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 you know, sell, sell, you know. <laughs> and um, my partner and roommate, we were all playing it and they were like, this is like a game I would play if I was like really sick, you know, like <laughs> when you're home all day and you just like have a fever, you're like, I'm just gonna play this for like 14 hours. <laughs> <laughs> like something to choose to choose this game out is like oh man it's a wild time but like the funny part about this game is that it's compatible with the Kinect the Xbox Kinect <laughs> it's what the last <laughs> part was <laughs> um, so the FAQ section um, on this game it's like it's epic yes we support the Kinect and the question is like this game supports the Kinect the <laughs> it's like the answer is like yes <laughs> Uh, grab me with your hands. We live in the future. Your body is the controller. Good luck. <laughs> it says, is the Kinect the optimal way to play Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator? Absolutely not. I don't know why anyone would do this on the Kinect. Um, I have no earthly idea. I'm personally sending whoever beats this game on the Kinect $50 Steam gift card. <laughs> oh my God. And two years after it was released, someone did uh, 14 <laughs> hours, beat it with the Xbox Kinect, 
and got fifty dollars <laughs> on Steam. I'm glad they were they stayed true to their word. Yeah, yes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's by Strange Scaffold, and you can play it on your Xbox Connect for all of you that have one at home. <laughs> I will go dust it off tonight. <laughs> all right, Kelsey. Uh, this is a very popular one, yeah. Lethal Company. Nice. <laughs> Woo! The company is high, high, high. You'll have your very own ship, your very own crew. Your job, collect worthless garbage to return to the company desk. It's easy. Lethal Company, a lot of cheers. So, Woo! Of you played it um, by the developer Zekers. Uh, the first time I played Lethal Company was actually a couple months ago, which is why I wanted to talk about it. Uh, super fun game and space capitalism. So, we have animals and space capitalism. That's what we do. Um, <laughs> uh, um, I normally don't like scary games, but this is like one of the most fun scary games I've ever played with my friends. Um, the proximity mic that's developed in there is super amazing. And if you haven't played it yet, it's not too late to start because I started them a couple months ago, and it's great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Um, my next game is Taco Tom 2. <laughs> Taco Tom 2. Um, it is a wonderful game where you can do little that little matching game to create your taco, but it also has a great storyline where Taco Tom goes to the fair with his girlfriend and then wakes up and his girlfriend is dead. Oh. And he has to go on a journey to find out what the heck happened at this fair and what happened to her and so you're kind of helping him out you meet new characters and it is it is wacky but it is a great story and um very fun and it is it's pretty short so if one afternoon you just want to find out more about mr tom <laughs> you can do that and it's it's fun it's it's a little challenging but but it's pretty pretty great and yeah that's yeah. not what we expected you to say at all. <laughs> we both like, looked at each other and you were like, and she died. Like, is, is she yeah. also a taco? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's oh. your taco girlfriend. Oh, okay. Um, but you meet an octopus mm. um, and a, a penguin who becomes your friend that helps you out to of course. find it. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. I'm so, very proud that, that they're not eating the, the taco. Background. Huh? I'm very happy that they're not eating the taco. Like, I feel like a penguin or an octopus would try to eat a taco. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Is that a spoiler? 
play the game. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to the girl? <laughs> okay. So yes, definitely check that out. It is out on. Um, Looks like pretty much everything. Steam, PlayStation, all not that. Not the Connect. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the Connect, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go back around to Sarah. All right. Ollie Frog Toad Skater. Woo! on the show floor. I promise I picked out these games before I knew what was coming <laughs> back. And then I just like saw that all but one of them were gonna be here. And I was like, <laughs> I guess Pax and I just both have very good taste. I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, but Ollie Frog Toad Skater, it is like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It is a very nice play on the game. Um, it is developed by Mr. V, who is a wonderful human being I had the pleasure of interviewing with this Pax. It is releasing soon. I believe there is a demo out. Uh, there is a story mode. And they didn't show it here, but when your little customizable frog falls, it squeaks. <laughs> You're like a little squeaky toy. So I'm, I, I always say I love video games, but I'm really bad at video games. So I didn't feel bad falling over every time because it's just like squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> you fall over, like it's just, and you're like rolling and you flip into the ground and yeah, it's, yeah. it's a good game. And did you know, mm. actually I'm going to ask, is Ollie Frog a toad or a frog? <gasps> Who thinks he's a frog? Trick question. Who thinks he's a toad? Oh. Who didn't answer? <laughs> <laughs> Secret third option. It's a Pokemon. Yeah. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> There's a Reddit thread that talks about this. Um, oh my gosh. So you can go find it. He answers all these questions. Somebody was like, how are they a frog and a toad? There is a correct answer. I'll let you f discover it for yourself. <laughs> I won't give away my secrets. Not today. You okay? I'm so sorry. I tried to adjust my chair. We're not apologize. It's, it's a toad. It's nope. a toad. We're not adjusting. I'm staying here. Puppet. Okay. Yay! More animals. Yeah! My next game Riding is people. Wanted Raccoon. Why did we pick animals? Oh.
haunted raccoon. Um, this is such a great game. Can you guys tell what kind of games I like yet? <laughs> all of them were so similar. Um, I very much enjoyed this game, and I, I'm, there's so much in this game, you guys. Like, it has so many layers. Like, yes, it's funny, but like, you can craft, you can build things, you can work alongside other animals. And I have to say, every time I see that trailer, I don't know what it is about the music or the way that it is. Like, when that arrow goes into the raccoon, I just like start getting teary. It's like Bambi ish. It is like Bambi. Like Bambi. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the story is really epic, though. Like, you know, you're you're just a raccoon. You're hanging out, and then one day these humans, of course, because we're the worst, um, came in and started cutting down trees, and like animals get killed and like taken away, and like you're just trying to get back at the humans now. So you're gonna cause all the trouble you possibly can, um, and you can also work alongside other animals in the game. Um, it is a co-op, so you can play with your friends online, and um, it's it's really great. Um, this game is in early access, so if you are like, oh, this looks great, and you're gonna go play it, I highly recommend, please remember, it is an early access. The devs are really great about um, receiving feedback, so um, they, they've been extremely responsive. They've been updating things, and um, I think they just recently had an update for their um, co-op, so um, yeah. Go find a friend, become a raccoon, and help take back your home. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out, every single one of your games start an animal. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. A lot of these have. Yes. No, but every single one of hers did. I, I like was animals. like, wow, there's a lot of animal ones. Who's putting all yep. these in? It was me and, and you. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, next. 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 I didn't do an animal. And there's again. <laughs> I knew. You missed the memo. I know. I didn't. I knew. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite games, Speed Dating for Ghosts. <laughs> yeah, this game is exactly what it is uh, described <laughs> as. You go on speed dates as a ghost. You are recently dead, um, mm. and you start getting back out there. <laughs> 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 um, and you meet um, some, like, really lovable, some uh, kind of, like, not so lovable, kind of slimy characters. Um, some don't know they're dead. Some, oh, it, it's like... No. Yeah, and some of it's kind of heartbreaking, very, like, uh, some of you take, they'll take you on dates. So, like, at the end, you know, you rotate through a round of three, you have, like, a thing that goes, you know, a bell rings, you move on to the next ghost, and then um, you get to choose your date, and if they like you, you know, if it goes well, you can go back and say goodbye to Aww. this woman's dying <laughs> husband. <laughs> um, oh, no. But it was um, released by Coffee Chaser Games, um, on Valentine's Day 2018, so <laughs> from a hotel room in Helsinki, <laughs> Finland. <laughs> um, you can play it on Steam, Switch, um, and it is very meaningful, heartbreaking, lovely, and I highly suggest it. It's a very good game. Ghosts deserve love, too. They do. Yeah. They do. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. an amazing... It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I remember when I was playing this game, I don't, I don't remember who it was, but I said something, and they were like, wait, what? I'm dead? What do you mean? And I, I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Well, this date just... <laughs> yeah. It's really deep. That is a really awkward... <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> I had a wonderful favorite pun when I was looking through, and you had a screenshot, and I picked one that was my favorite. <laughs> and it was Stephanie. 
as I saw, and she's wearing a face. And she goes, it took me an hour to put my face on. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, oh, not your makeup, your face. Oh, oh. <laughs> she tried so hard for you. My, yeah. My favorite's Vera. She has holes that have smoke <laughs> flying like out of it face. from cigarettes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, I could talk about that for hours. <laughs> Kelsey. Uh, this one's called Say No More. Oh. Intern, make me coffee. Are you sick and tired of being pushed around by mean co-workers? <laughs> well, no more. Introducing Say No More, a video game about saying no. Hi, I'm Coach, and this is Say No More, a brand new game from Studio Fizzbin. We've all been there. Intern, clean my car. Rude. I'm <laughs> gonna need you to go ahead and stay in all night for a week. What a meanie. Well, to that <laughs> I say no more. Super easy to learn controls. <laughs> Focus on the no saying entirely. Don't pick up my face. I left it in the microwave. Say no more is coming to a digital platform near you on April 9. That also means no in German. Eight polished levels, thousands of fun combinations in a fabulous character creator, 17 languages to say no in, and more no's than a lying Pinocchio in this easy to learn, no playing game. But wait, there's more. You can pre-order a copy of Say No More and get a sense of self-satisfaction from supporting our work. Sense of self-satisfaction, not guaranteed. Check us out at these digital storefronts and remember to say no more. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Additional info, funny. The, this game is super fun. Um, it's by Studio Fizzbin, and yeah, it it's, it looks chaotic with the art style, but it, it is and it isn't. I, I could say a lot about this game, but it was so cute. You can play it in a few hours, and I think it teaches a valuable lesson about saying no to people in the workplace, especially. Um, setting those boundaries, very healthy. We could all learn that. Um, mm -hmm. But also the value of saying yes to certain situations as well. And you get the amazing music, the amazing dialogue. Uh, it's a really fantastic game, and you can play it on Steam or your Switch. Right. Yeah, I've, I've seen some clips of it, and it oh. gets really chaotic. So that's oh, what I just wanted to add. It is a really fun game, yeah. and that's that's part of it. You just go through, and it's chaotic. I'm so excited it's on the Switch. Yeah, yeah I didn't expect cool. that. I don't yeah. know why I played it on the Switch. Yeah. It's so exciting. <laughs> okay. 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 Are, Are we ready? <laughs> Who chose me to be in charge of the slides? <laughs> You're doing awesome. <laughs> Um, so in the, uh, I guess, tax evasion theme, yeah. <laughs> I realized when, <laughs> when Sarah was talking, don't fraud my heart, it's like, oh yeah, I guess mine has a tax avoiding theme, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is Turnip Boy, it commits tax evasion. So this game um, is a lot like if anyone has ever played the more like 2D Zelda games, like A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, uh, kind of that kind of structure RPG. Um, and it's great. You're a turnip. Uh, there's other vegetables in your little community. And you got uh, your, you know, your taxes note. 
and you decide to rip it up. And from there, chaos starts and you, you have to just keep going. It's like lying, you know, you have to lie once and you just have to keep lying to keep it up. You, you avoid your taxes and now you got to just commit crimes for the rest of your life because <laughs> there's, it is, there's no going back. It's a slippery slope. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. There's one thing, taxes, you just, you know, you got to do them or, or I guess you commit to a life of crime and, <laughs> And, and in this die. game, yeah, yeah, and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> but in this game, that's what you choose, and you go through, and uh, you just you tear up the system. <laughs> and there's actually a few like other games, there's, uh, but I can't remember what they're specifically called. But it's Turn Up Boy. Oh, yeah. Any, yeah, they came there's up with a sequel. A sequel. Well, yeah. yeah, there's a sequel. Oh, Turn Up Boy. Robs a, bank. robs a bank. Robs a bank. I was like, he, a bank. he does something <laughs> else that's illegal. I and that one is like also very, murder. very fun. No. Oh, oh I my was God. trying to remember, and I thought it was like, Turn Up Boy commits murder. And I was oh, like, that's a Oh, jeez. It's not third game. <laughs> I mean, I guess kind of technically Maybe, he maybe does. that's the third game. I don't it's know. It's self-defense, actually. but <laughs> He's just a turnip. He doesn't know any better. Yeah, exactly. He's just it's a cute little turnip. <laughs> As yeah. Someone, as someone who's played this game, he does know better. <laughs> <laughs> like, the game, again, Turn Boy is one of my favorite games to have on my lovely devices that I play them on. And with Turn Boy, he, he's kind of like, he's not a jerk, but he's done something to the town to the point that there's like a blueberry that likes a strawberry because that's the world we live in. Yeah. And she was like, hey, give this note to that girl. And, and the girl's like, Turn Up Boy, um, no. And, like, and then it's that, oh, it's not from you? Oh, then great. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh. It's like, oh, man, Turnip Boy, what did you do? But the whole town kind of has that attitude towards Turnip Boy. Oh, so no. the mayor's like, hey, you owe us money. And Turnip Boy's like, do I? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He just, you know? It, he just goes on his adventure. Also, there's lore. There's story to this. There's things that you discover that I truly do believe this is like a really great game. Mm -hmm. um, not too long either to get to the meat and potatoes of everything that's going on with it. So if you have any of the devices that this is on, I think it's worth getting. Yeah, I think I I think I think completed it in like three hours, three yeah, I would say something. That. And I, I like to run around and mess around in games. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, amazing game. Go, go play it. I love that we've come full circle. Like, yeah. Like the waifu's helping you with your taxes, and now we're a turnip. Yeah. <laughs> tax evasion. Evasion. Not even <laughs> dealing with it in the first place. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe turnip boy just needs a tax auditing waifu in his life. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mash yeah. up. Mash up, anybody? In the house. <laughs> <laughs> Partnership. Um, okay. For our honorable mentions, <laughs> I'm like asking permission from Sam. Can we play a little game? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. I love games. <laughs> I'm the kind of person you invite to your social event, and I'm like, okay, but where's the game? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to list these off, and I would love for you guys to raise your hand if you've played the game before. Whether you recommend it or not, um, <laughs> have you played this game? Okay, there's Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. Oh, okay. Oh, we have oh, a few. Okay, nice. all right, all right. How about I Love You, Colonel Sanders? Yeah. Yes. Oh, we got more there. <laughs> yes, which by the way, KFC <laughs> actually like like backed this game. It was it's amazing. Um, it's a good game. Rain on Your Parade. <gasps> I want to talk to you and you. <laughs> I love this game. It's by the same people that did Just Crow Things. So oh. you played that game here and you enjoyed that game. Um, yeah, right yeah. on your parade. Yeah. Um, Little Kitty Big City. Oh, not as much as I thought. It's a good oh, one. Oh, it's so it's good. So good. So good. Um, the Secret of Tremendous Corporation. <laughs> I wonder Frankie. who submitted that one. One, and this is this is Frankie. Everybody, um, please give a round of applause for Frankie, everyone. Yeah, Frankie. He is our technical support and ha put together this slideshow and has just held us all together. He did not put together this slideshow. Okay, no, he helped today. <laughs> I will tell you all about it. Excuse me. <laughs> um, you are the only person in this entire room who's played this game, and he's the one who recommended it. So, someone, that sounds please. About right. The tremendous what? What is the it? The secret, secret of tremendous yes. corporation is a wild game. Go check it out, please. I am bread. 
Yay! yay. Okay, yay. Nice. Love that one. Um, mail time. Oh, okay. All right. A few, a few. <laughs> um, before your eyes. Nice. Only a couple. It's a great one. That's yes. A good one. Yeah. Um, plastic duck simulator. <laughs> oh, we've got some really <laughs> enthusiastic ones over there. Okay. How about the dot? The mm. dot. No one. <gasps> oh. We found one. <laughs> we found I, I was really hoping there was at least one game that nobody, because I, I was excited to bring new games to you guys, because that's what we do here at Game Raven, is bring you new games. So, hey, look at this, the dot. How about Cato's Post Office? Cato's Post Office. Another one. Oh, my gosh. Go check it out, you guys. It's wild. Um, totally accurate battle simulator. Yeah. Yes. Oh. That's a, that's a good one. Um, alien Squatter. Alien Squatter, anyone? Just, oh, it's just, just the case. Case. Was all the like two so of them have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> special interest. Special interest over here. Um, fight Crab. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, skate Bird. <gasps> Yay! Yes. Oh, great. Yeah. Mm, good. Alpaca Ball All Stars. <laughs> you can get a free demo. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> It, yes. <laughs> West of Loathing. Oh, Ooh. yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Aviary Attorney. Oh. <gasps> we have one. Oh, two. It's a really good one. Oh, oh you guys are cool. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Me you too. Nerds. Me too. <laughs> speaking, speaking Simulator. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, oh. that's, that's a really weird it's a great one. one. It's, it's weird. <laughs> it's cool, though. Um, extremely powerful capybaras. Yay. Yay. It's a very cute one. I Multiplayer. love that one. Their devs are wonderful. Yes. Okay, last one. Chicken police. Real, that surprises me. Okay, all right. Yes, chicken, chicken police is great. Mm -hmm. I put that one in there for you, Sam. Thank yeah. you. Aww. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, take it away, Sam. <laughs> we are pretty much done here, guys. Just want to thank you all for coming out to the Game Raven Review panel of the most ridiculous games that we can find. I've been your host, Sam. You can find me pretty much everywhere at Sam Said at DFW. If you'd like to know more about Game Raven, please go to GameRavenReview.com. QR code's right there for you as well, and pretty much on every platform at Game Raven, <clears throat> Game Raven Review. And I'll just go down the line here as well if you'd like to give out any of your socials. Super quick, so sorry, yeah. I forgot to mention. This QR code up here, the, the really big one, um, we have an article up that has everything we talked about in this panel. Everything is there, trailers, whatever. So if you were like, I went to this great panel, but I don't remember anything from it. <laughs> we gotcha. We gotcha. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, so yeah, go check that out. And then the little one is like. It's also like exclusively for you guys. So it's not like actually published on our site yet. You guys yes. are getting yeah. first dibs. Mm -hmm. um, I guess also anybody watching at home. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. Love you guys. Uh, thank you for Hello. being with us. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I, my name is Jenny, uh, aka Lil Forest Fay. Um, I am on Twitter and Instagram, little like L I L Forest Fay. Um, go, 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 go. Yeah. I'm Kelsey. I'm Kelsey Buckets on everything. I'm Michaela. I'm just happy to be here. I don't do anything worthwhile <laughs> <laughs> on, on Instagram. <laughs> um, I'm Puppet Master N. That's Puppet Master E N. And you can find me anywhere. I'm really funny on TikTok. <laughs> I'm Sarah. And I'm not going to plug my own stuff because I'm the person who does all the Game Raven review social media. So I only want you to bother me in one place and not two places. Fair. Yeah, All right. and, and I'm much I'm much better on Game Raven socials, honestly. <laughs> and, unless you wanted to follow my like weird Stan accounts, but no, that that's for me. Thank you. And again, thank you for all that are watching and are physically here. We appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hope you had a good PAX. Yay! Yeah, happy PAX. Thank you, PAX. Yeah, it's Monday.